it's time for an SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Marathon. That's right, if you are a fan of the brand or you're new and you're wondering if these things are actually worth picking up, then sit back, relax. Let's jump into some of my favorite video reviews of SH Figure Arts. Let's get into it. Join me today as I take this $35 Goku Black and turn it into a $100 Goku Black. <laughs> well, kind of. So we've got this wonderful looking figure because it's SH Figure Arts and they're generally <laughs> good looking, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So look at this, it's got a little pearlescence. But this is not the first time we've gotten a Goku Black. In fact, the one that people have gotten prior to this has a matte finish head, not this pearlescent one. And I think that's the one that people want. That's why it's worth around 100 bucks. But this guy is the affordable way to get a Dragon Ball figure. This is the $34.99 zone, which is nice because, hey, let's face it, we don't like spending $70 on figures all the time. But when you're buying this brand, that's kind of what you got to do sometimes. So back the box, we got some figure shots, different poses, some cool, unique looks, and super action as we must always have with an SH Figure Arts. And classic styling, some figure shots, black and white, top of the box, nothing exciting to look at. Let's open this thing, and then I'm gonna show you how we turn this thing into a more expensive figure, kind of. Don't forget the kind of part. There's a big old fat asterisk next to that. Slide this guy open, look at that, okay. Inside the box, cute, it's cute, it's rosé. But this doesn't have the instructions on the flap, this has instructions on paper. I can't even open this thing, good God. Open, <laughs> there we go. We made it, we're out, we're ready to go. We've got interchangeable face parts like that. Hair, face, hands, it's easy. This one is pretty straightforward because there aren't really any accessories in this box, unfortunately. And a nice little bonus, look, a little cross sell. Don't forget to buy these guys. Let's take this plastic off. That was easy. <laughs> this is a this is another thing I love about their packaging. It's very, very easy to deal with. And sometimes I look at myself in the viewfinder over here. Hi, me, instead of you guys over there. Hi, audience, I know you're here, okay? So thank you for coming and joining me on this expedition to look at this with interchangeable parts and super action. <laughs> so let's take him out of there, easy. Uh, face plates and hands, okay? I gotta do this the hard way. The easy way? Sometimes you lose stuff, Jonathan. The accessories in this one are pretty standard as we've seen with other Goku figures. If you haven't watched those, I do have some Goku reviews. Check them out. This one, we got three faces. He's got earring on all of them. Four faces, if you count that one. You should count that one, okay? And then we get these hands. He's got rings on his hands now, but these are the same hands we've seen before. So instant transmission, shooting some key blasts and all kinds of cool fighting stuff, and he's got his fisticuffs. So let's take a close look at this beautiful boy. So if, if you like pink, you like rosé, then I think you're gonna be a big fan of this figure. Now this is a... Uh, this is from a very particular series storyline of Dragon Ball. And if you're not familiar, you should go check it out because it, it was fun. And I don't remember any of it. <laughs> is this Future Trunks fights with Goku against Goku Black? I don't remember. It's a, it's a cool color scheme and it's something nice and something different. If you've already got a Goku, then it's kind of cool to have Another one, I think, <laughs> is what we're getting at. Oh Lord, what's nice about this one is that the body is not flesh toned, so you don't have to worry about the colors being off because that's almost always the case. And then you get this like airbrushed going on. It's kind of a washed look. So you get some highlights. I like this, the good details, hello. Back of it is just like all the other Gokus that have <laughs> highlights in the front. It's just boring flat on the back. But that hair, look at that hair. Isn't that what we're all really here for? Is that beautiful hair? <laughs> and you might be that one and only chubby boy. And, I, and I'm not calling you chubby, I'm saying that, you, that viewer that wants me to do this review. So hey, we're doing it, baby. Let's check it out. Details, excellent. Colors, excellent. Posability is top notch. Listen, this is, if for no other reason to get a figure arts, it's because you, you just get to experience what a figure is supposed to be like for articulation and posing, okay? This is like top line for me. Top line, top of the line. Whoa, <laughs> that's a little bit different, but basically the same thing, I'm stupid. Let's take that hair off because it goes like this, boom. Uh-oh, and his whole face came off. Now, we've got all these other faces, which are fun, 
He doesn't have any nice faces. He's got the smirking uh, one that was on there by default. So he's got that smirking one because he's kind of a he's kind of a jerk. This isn't a nice Goku, okay? I know you think Goku is always a nice time boy. Uh, this one, not necessarily. So look at that face, looking pretty cool. Eyes to the left just a little bit. Then you got this one, which are eyes straight on. Not even just a bit, a whole lot of it. <laughs> I'm dumb. And then we got this one, he's yelling. The right eye is a little bit closer than the left, it seems, but it's fine. It's a tiny little figure, it's not gonna be that noticeable. Maybe it's a little, I, maybe I can kind of tell. Hands basic, but how do we turn this guy from a $34 one into a $100 one? We just listed on Mercari and bumped the price up. What'd you think I was gonna do? No, that's not what we do. We have this Goku Black Rose custom head sculpt set. Now this is from, I don't know, but it's assisted by Demonical Fit, as we can see here. Now this, <laughs> you, I, I ordered this off of a website called 5K Toys. Just 5K Toys, I could put that on the screen instead of trying to say it. Now this site has tons of stuff, tons of third party things, plus they do have licensed items. But what's great about that website and third party creators is that you get things like the other th something, like Balma's motorcycle, the capsule bike. That's the other, that's where I got that. If you enjoy this show and you enjoyed this review, then check out my art prints and shirt. Dragon Ball inspired, baby. Now, what's cool about this uh, thing is that it's compatible with this guy. So if you did not get the really nice one from a whenever that was, you now can essentially upgrade your dude here with these extra hands, okay? Look at interchangeable parts, interchangeable hair. Not only does it come with a normal black hair and another head piece that you're gonna see, but it comes with his power effects, which are pretty crucial because you get figures like these for $35 and they never come with their, their effects, their powers, their abilities. So check this out. This is a, I like this box art by the way too. They do this uh, pretty regularly. And you never see their face because guess what? It's a third party. It's not, it's not officially licensed. Here we are. We're looking at, let me fix you, Goku. I'm so sorry, man. So let's take this thing apart. This is uh, a little different from your SH Figure Arts packages. So this is like a, a little squishy clamshell. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. So those are the accessories that come with him. This, now we're getting into the specialty of this figure look at this look this is this is the one this is what it's all about folks and i gotta fix this camera because it's too bright look at that it is beautiful it's that matte finish pink that we all want by we all i don't know maybe you don't maybe you like that shiny stuff that's okay i'm already a huge fan of the set okay this is what it's all about i forgot how much it was 15 dollars, i think this now you can have goku black with before power-ups, right? Just the normal black hair version. And it's great. It's uh, all built exactly the same. I was gonna say it's all one piece, <laughs> but it's not. It's built just like your other Goku templates. So the pieces still come apart. Now, granted, you don't unless you want pink eyebrows with black hair, the, this is the only face you get on this head. And I was actually just thinking about this when I was messing with this Goku, but you need to subscribe and also like this video. How come you haven't hit like yet? I thought we we're having a good time. Then you get some gripping hands left and right. He's still got his ring on there. His bro ring is on so that you can grab the staff. You got this one, which is probably a very particular thing, but it's just, it's a nice alternate hand. Kind of looks like he's uh, about to shoot somebody. We got this one, which is a really nice transparent, translucent effect. I like it a lot. <laughs> and you would just put this little hand in there like so. Boop. And there you go. You got a boom. You got a bing bang boom. It's like a it's like a giant sword hand. Then you get this piece which connects right here in the little hole. Uh, it's out of focus. Just goes like that. And there you go. You got a big old staffy do. So this is how you do it. It comes apart so that you can take these hands, slide that in there, and then uh, get stuck. There we go. And but whoops. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. You got a very iconic weapon from that scene where he's fighting people. Okay. So let's, so the, the colors uh, seem good enough. Let's take that hand off. And the big problem with the, having weapons that are heavy like this is uh, you get some weak joints. Okay. So you're going to have to kind of probably do some, some, some two-handed things because that's uh, definitely struggling. <laughs> Darn it. 
Now, let's take that hand off and give him the, the best effect in the pack. There we go. Look at that. That's sweet, man. That is a very nice uh, effect. I, they did an excellent job on it. I mean, third party companies, you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates, they say. No, they don't. That's stupid. Now, the only downside to the set is that it doesn't come with an extra neck peg, which I'm having difficulties with in the original setup because it keeps popping out of his neck. And now I don't remember which side goes up, which side goes down. So there we go. Look at that thing. It is looking really, really nice. I'm a big fan of the matte finish. I think that is definitely the preferred route and probably why that other one goes for more, even though it does come with some other effects like a background, like power up ability. But this is this is a really, really nice alternative. Now, as far as the face plates go, you're getting an all new face. OK, so you, it's not a replication, a replica, a copy. <laughs> but here is the difference in the colors. So the, the skin tone is pretty much the same. There you go. The difference you get the, the shiny purple that is going on in the brows here and they're not on the other one. So it does match up perfectly with this matte finish. And there we go with the black hair option, which looks great because, oh, poop. <laughs> Got a little bit of like a semi gloss finish to it. So it's not perfectly matte, but it does look good. And I think if you want to recreate that stuff and this is such a good look, okay? The black hair is such a good look. Obviously the, the rose or rose hair is also really nice, but depending on the style you're trying to get, this is such a great kit to add on to your Goku Black Rosé, because then he's just Goku Black, right? <laughs> oh boy. So there we have it, folks. Your $35 figure turns into a $100 figure, but not really. That's why I said kind of. It turns into technically, I guess you could say, a $50 figure, if you want to just add on the cost of the accessory pack. You tell me. <laughs> but if you're like me and you never got a hold of that other one, you don't want to spend a hundred bucks, then spend less, folks. Spend less and get a really, really nice setup. You get the spear thingy. What? What is? Wait, what, a sickle. <laughs> and then you also have stuff. You're just missing really that background power ability, which let's face it, um, we'll just be jealous about that forever. <laughs> and if you want to get the other face plates that came with the actual figure, the actual SH Figure Arts one, what does that look like when you put those face plates on? Well, it looks like this. So it still looks really nice. His brows obviously have that metallic finish, but it's good enough, I think. If you wanted to have the alternate faces, it's definitely going to work, especially on the shelf. And if you get any shadows and stuff from his hair, it's fine. Folks, it's fine. Let's open this thing up and take a look at the figure because that's what we're here for, right? You want to see a review of a box only, then you came to the wrong channel, folks. This is uh, Nostalgia Unboxed, okay? <laughs> I've made that joke before. That's a stupid joke to make twice. Okay, it does have instructions. So the, the face plates, you know, just this is the nice thing about SH Figure Arts and a lot of Japanese brands is that they include these instructions. And if you are familiar with this, then I apologize for going over this. But sometimes you get somebody that's new to the collection and it's just nice to kind of let them know what else in the box. Like, uh, hey, here's how you change hands and stuff. And, and here's how you put this uh, pull sheath on our innocent little challenger. Look at him. The paint looks fantastic at first glance. So I think we're fine. A little piece of protection there for his face so it doesn't bu uh, buff the matte finish and get shiny from being uh, smashed in there. <laughs> is that how I talk now? <laughs> uh, what's nice about this one is that you get this kind of hair in motion. Now, this is essentially an upgraded version, from my understanding, from an older one, which runs about 100 bucks. Uh, and that older one comes with the Nimbus Cloud. So you don't get that now, but you get upgraded everything else. So I. If, I don't know. Is it is it worth is it worth it or should you just get the old one? I wish I had that answer because the old one uh, looks pretty good. I don't I don't know how much of a difference there is. You guys probably already watched a review on it. So why are you here? <laughs> so a nice little overview here you get fighting hands that are kind of open with the two fingers out. We've seen that before. We got the grippy kind of punchy fight hand things. And then you got two <laughs> gripping hands for the for his pull. 
for his staff, whatever you want to call it. Then we got three face plates, a tail, a sheathed version, and a fully extended thing, and then his hair and him. And to him. <laughs> That's stupid. What's really great about these figures uh, uh, for me is the articulation. Spectacular. The, the likeness is really, really good. I think they crushed it with the expressions and stuff. So I think that's probably going to be one of the biggest upgrades from the previous version is that you're going to see this uh, likeness is really, really spot on. And it might be worth if you can still get a hold of one of the bootlegs to just to get Nimbus with the stand, because then you can just kind of add it to this. And I don't think the I don't think the Nimbus paint job is really that bad that you'd be like, oh, that's clearly a knockoff. Like it's just it's a simple accessory. So it might be worth if you can find it because that's what I want to do. With the kid versions like this and the kid Krillin, they're kind of big. I mean, they, they're, they're small, but they don't scale with the rest of the series, like at all. Regular Goku. I mean, if this was his kid, Goten or something like that, that doesn't scale. That's not right. He should be smaller. His head's way too big. And of course, the Bulma from that, uh, that, uh, 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 <laughs> and the Balma from Dragon Ball. Uh, yeah, it's clearly a huge difference. And that's where the bike version comes in. It's here. And now you can see this like this is a proper scale. So to have something that small with this kind of articulation, uh, I, I guess it's just not going to happen, right? It would be really awesome because he's as big as this. Like this, that's kind of a bummer. So you kind of have to take these kid versions and just kind of put them in their own little space and be like, you're you're separate from the rest of the crew, which, yeah, I don't know. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? I asked him, but how do you feel about that? <laughs> but let's look at the details of this guy. Oh my goodness. I love the line work and I, I'm so happy to see the, the black lines in the facial expressions because some of the older ones, I don't think have that. And I noticed that with, uh, with that Goku, because that is uh, a little bit older. Now the, now the new one is the superhero version. And look, he's got lines in his face and that one doesn't. <laughs> so let's look at the other face plates. We got this angry eyes to the left a little bit and uh, pretty common, at least in the SH figure arts. Let's adjust this camera because I want you to see there's even sculpt work for the teeth. So they didn't do line work to separate those teeth, but you can see that little indention. And that's like, that's really nice, especially when the, the light hits it in the right way. You get this, you just, you're getting so much more out of these things than uh, you previously, previously did. <laughs> well, uh, I'm dumb. So then you get this classic angry face and man, does that look good. The paint looks exceptional. And I think we can confirm that this is legit. This is a real one. A real one, folks. You get these little hands, look at that. It's uh, you get the same sets with the adult version. So this is just something uh, his kind of fighting style that goodness sakes, camera focus. <laughs> We're trying to shoot a video of camera. This is a pretty common hand thing for him. And now you get it left and right. This is also pretty common in any form of Goku adult or child. And ooh, that's gross. And then uh, it's just a mirrored left and right. And the same thing here, mirrored left and right. But you get this for the bow staff, which uh, is fine. It's very simple, it's tiny, hard to focus for the camera apparently. Then you get this bow staff, which is in the sheath, so that does come out. So that way, if he's holding the big one, you know, you don't want it to look like, why has he got two of them? <laughs> so you can take it out, which is good. Uh, it's a pliable thing. <laughs> This, I mean, it's just incredibly simple. It's just a red piece of plastic. So nothing really to talk about with that. And then you got his tail, which is on a ball hinge uh, and it's unpainted. So I don't know, is that good that it's unpainted? Hopefully we don't see it. And it goes right into the back there. So let's continue looking at the details of little tiny kid Goku. Cause I think I got, I think I got out of order here. <laughs> so he comes with punching fists by default. The belt uh, rotates just like the adult version. You get loads of articulation. You get this, um, uh, because the Turtle Master Roshi. And look, I am such a fan of this freaking thing already. I can't, I can't even. <laughs> and I did pre-order the one that is on uh, pretty much everywhere else. So like uh, Big Bag Toy Store, is that right? Big Bad Toy Store, then Entertainment Earth. I think you can get the GT version where he's in the, I'll, sh I'll show you, it's right here on the screen. Okay, I pre-ordered that one, that was $54. This guy, uh, if you could get to the store, is supposed to be like 30, 
for $37, which is a steal for a Dragon Ball Goku. Man, it's just, it's just too adorable, man. There's a lot of similarities in the build and stuff to the adult version, but just scaled down. But good God, it's just, I, there's something about it. There's something about the cuteness of Kid Goku ready to just shoot a Kamehameha. But he's even got two uh, to toe articulation, even, even though it's so minimal. You can <laughs> articulate his tiny toes. Now this tail does seem like it's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of strength being in there. Pain in the butt, that's funny. Yeah, oh, see, just a little bit of movement is gonna cause that thing to get knocked out of place. Well, that's a bummer. And obviously this head with the hair is just like, it really needs to be on a Nimbus. So can we do that? Can we do post, post Nimbus? There we go. Look at how good it looks. <laughs> and then his tail, yeah, super annoying. Just keeps popping off. I, I really am annoyed by that. So if you guys have any tips on keeping that in there a little bit better, please let me know. You know, I'm new to all this. But there you go. He's got his little sheath on. His hair's blowing in the wind because he's a, uh, uh, whatever, standing on a, a, a cliff side because he clearly doesn't have his little cloud to help him fly yet. Stupid. And if you love a good little Kid Goku, then head on over to my shop and purchase an 11 by 17 of Kid Goku flying on that thing. Or a shirt. I got a shirt now. Isn't that fun? I totally redid the whole background and everything. But hey, if you love Dragon Ball as much as I do, I think you should buy one. <laughs> when you're late to collecting stuff like SH figure arts, sometimes you find something that you're interested in and then the price <laughs> is way too high. And that is the case with the Bulma motorcycle from her capsule corp thing. But the problem with that being $200 or more <laughs> and then maybe coming with the figures, the bike just came out. I don't even know when. It came out a while ago, bike alone, and it was expensive. And when I got my last Bulma, the one I reviewed, this one here, <laughs> I specifically wanted to get a bike for her. And I thought, well, the capsule core kind of makes the most sense. And plus, uh, as much as I love Dragon Ball Z, and I get into things like this, I'm gonna wanna put some more stuff together. But with the price of that bike being so high, I had to say, you know what? Let's go to the third party. That's right, today we're gonna compare this original Bulma Bulma, Bulma, why do you wear your name on your shirt? I'm gonna start doing that, just says Jonathan, on everything I wear. <laughs> but we have this authentic real version, and then we have this third party version, which is inside this. So the black hole toys, that's pretty sweet. Black holes are cool, space is cool. I should know, I did a space channel for like two years. <laughs> Nobody watched it. We're gonna look at a third party option for this thing. And it came in at $95, but it came with the figure. So yeah, I picked up an extra one really just for you all, okay? So we can compare and we'll find out maybe the other one is garbage and it's a good thing that I picked up this one. Here's a look at a third party company. This isn't a knockoff. This is just somebody else out there. Like for those of you that are familiar, ramen toys is a company that is making some incredible stuff like really really top-notch stuff but they don't always have the license for things they're not knockoffs knockoffs which do happen with sh figure arts usually have lack of paint they're real cheap looking uh and you don't really know that until you get a hold of one and then compare them i think that this third party is going to be great despite the overly pixelized <laughs> image on the front of this box that is uh uh, they, they screwed up. Obviously, they didn't pay anybody to do box art. They just found an internet image and they used it. And then it, it still has all these artifacts in there. Like, come on. But this thing's like, it was like $95 shipped. So that's substantially cheaper than the original. And I don't know what the original price is, but 200 plus to get it now? No thanks. So this is officially Motorcycle Girl. Because <laughs> we don't want to get in trouble with stuff, despite the fact that it's obviously, right? You can't, you can't, you can't deny what that is. Just by calling it Motorcycle Girl, it doesn't change anything. Sides of the box, nothing. Top and bottom are the same, this, this gradient color. And then another image that is kind of actually squished as well. So they, they did it again. They just found an internet image. It's got artifacts going on. And then they used fresh fonts, which I don't know, what's that say? Let's find out together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, that took a while for that last one to load, but my God, that is, that's too funny. Okay. <laughs> 
classic, uh, classic Dragon Ball style, but they made a play on it with the uh, black hole toys. Okay, and then you get this little bit of English here. <laughs> it's just 15 and up. Oh my God. Okay, let's uh, open this $95 item to see if it's worth it. In the, and in a world of SH figure arts, $95 really <laughs> isn't, isn't that bad. Whoop. There we go. Nothing inside, no sleeves or anything, but it is encased in plastic just like everything else that you buy from anybody else. So this is, uh, you know, the, the experience is high level. And at first glance, this stuff looks uh, really good. And just so everybody knows, I got this off of 5K Toys, okay? It's a website where you can get a lot of, we'll just say third party stuff. And I think they have stuff that's licensed because it's like original, uh, designs, but sometimes things like this, there would be like a big bar covering it up and you don't know what it is on the website. So you kind of have to look up other websites that have the images of these things to see what you're getting. And then you buy from these people kind of blindly. <laughs> but here we go. We've got a Bulma. We've got face plates. The paint seems to be pretty good. I don't see anything that's really uh, a problem as of right now. You get everything I believe is the same over here. So let's take all this out and then we'll take that out and take a look. We'll take, take, and take. <laughs> I'm just gonna say the same words. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, so that's, uh, that's simple. Okay, we're gonna just put that in there. Okay, so this is an example of one of those times that I'd like to have the instructions. And since this is a third party, I guess they're just deciding not to do that. And now with SH figure, it's generally you get a, and, and with SH figure arts, you generally get an instruction sheet. Uh, and we'll see that with the actual Bulma here. And I really wish that I had <laughs> the original one to compare for you. But I think if you're watching this, maybe you don't have the original one or you just want to know, or, or you do, and you just want to know if this one is as good. And did, should you have paid $200 used? Probably not. So I'm not really sure what these things are going to do. Probably hold up this thing, but there's three pegs and that and an extra seat. Uh, I, I guess the, I don't, yeah, I guess if you don't want Goku, Kid Goku, you just have an empty seat since he pegs in. Okay. All right. We're figuring it out. We don't need instructions. Apparently we're smarter than that. Okay, and that keeps coming off. So let's just um, open up this other Bulma, I guess, and then compare the two of them. And an example of what those instructions look like. So something like this, where it tells you that all of these things can be swapped out and replaced, which is really sweet. And sweet like cool and not sweet like, oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> but maybe it is, maybe it's both. All right, so let's start with uh, the extra, oh no, so much. So many things are going everywhere. <laughs> start with these extra face plates and I don't wanna get these things screwed up just in case they uh, are very similar. All right, so starting with the kinda, wide-eyed expression, the third party is on the left and the original is on the right. There's a little bit of like muck on that. I don't know if it'll come off. It's a little dirty, but otherwise that's <laughs> incredibly uh, similar. I guess you could say almost identical. The eyebrows are maybe a little higher on this third party one. You get into real deep into the details, like the lines, the outlines are thicker on the third party. And the paint is ne not necessarily as smooth in the mouth, but this is, I mean, I would pass that off as like, that's good enough, you know what I mean? Now, the other face, the just kind of standard default face, uh, wow, <laughs> that's, uh, that's great. It's, it really comes down to the, the mouth, I think, is like the only, the only real difference you could probably call out. The application of the paint is a little smoother on the actual one, but this is just, you know, it looking at extreme details. So this is very impressive. Third party has done an excellent job. I think her forehead is bigger on the original than on the knockoff too, like wider maybe. All right, now the full figure details. So there's a little bit difference that you can see by the hair bow, this one has more shadows going on. I think that's just like, like a washed washed paint. But I gotta tell you, looking at these things side by side, that's kind of hard to tell what the real one is. I mean, the, the most obvious thing, if you set these things on the counter or in this video, you probably have already seen it, is that the uh, plastic for her dress is shinier on the third party versus the official SH figure arts. But this is, this is like, I am really impressed 
with how close these things are to being the exact same item. Just slight differences, but if you needed a Bulma, if you didn't already have her, then just get the one with the bike if you wanted the bike, because it's just, it's really meeting the expectations I think that you would have for this figure. One of the other details though is gonna be that the gun in the holster here is just painted brown versus having this kind of dark, chromey black finish. But otherwise, my goodness. And I wonder if that's consistently the same issue here on this one every single time. But details, <laughs> this is so, it's stupid. The plastic is harder on this one as well. Like this is a, like, not nearly as soft to bend. And then this one, yeah, you can, it's very pliable. That's spectacular. If I were you, don't do what I did and get an extra one of these because <laughs> it already comes with one. And, you, and I already got a ball. This wasn't really about her. It was really about the bike and a little kid Goku. Come on, look at that guy. I have no idea what the original one looks like, but it looks fantastic to me. <laughs> this is great. His little pouch, his bow staff. His uh, neck is yellow, which is a little weird. <laughs> oh, man. It's just so funny. It's such a tiny little Goku, too. And then he just pegs into this seat back here. Look at him. Ready to have a good time. The Dragon Ball Radar, I think, is the exact same thing. Can I even... They're so tiny. The real one is uh, obviously much cleaner on the lines. The one on the left looks like it's actually done by hand. It's like sloppy looking. <laughs> the one on the, the real the real one looks good. The Dragon Ball itself, let's see. All right, the official SH Figure Arts on the right and the third party on the left. They're both uh, two stars, so at least they stayed consistent with that. It's basically the same thing. The gun that comes with her, let's see. The uh, so hard. It's so hard to do this. With the, like, to lift my hand. <laughs> so close. Uh, yep, yeah, basically the same thing. There's, uh, the clip is a little bit, the magazine, whatever you call it, and the one on the right is a little bit longer, but it's like, who cares? We don't need to go over all the extra little bits and pieces, but we'll just look here at the little capsule as well. The one that comes in the hand. So the one, the, the original one is obviously a little cleaner. It doesn't have that extra paint going on in that peg piece, but man, this is fantastic. So go uh, go get a, uh, the, go get that one. Now, the weird thing is if you're gonna have your original real Balma and you put this other skirt on for the, the bike, this is the shinier plastic than this one, obviously. So it's a little, a little strange maybe, I don't know. But maybe once it's under the bike, it's fine. At the end of the day, I, you wouldn't necessarily need that one, right? Like the, it's not worth having the the authentic one when you have this. It's so it's so close. All right, so the 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 little stand does have the Capsule Core logo on it, which is nice. And let's get rid of you, little Goku. Let's look at this bike, okay? So we got some some great details going on here for the gauges and stuff. There's no image there, so I, I'm wondering what the real one looks like. And of course, that means I'll be scouring the internet for some real reviews or pictures of the authentic one and trying to compare that. But this looks like uh, a great item, honestly. It's got rubber tires. They're not hard plastic, which is nice. And so a little tip for hobby enthusiasts or, or whatever, if you want to get these things to kind of look real and worn, just take a little bit of sandpaper to them and it gives them that kind of grayed uh, look and, and instead of looking like brand new fresh tires, which is a, a cool move, okay? You want to be cool? You want your friends to come over and see your capsule core bike and go, Whoa, is that thing real? The The tires look like they've been on the real streets. And you can be like, <laughs> fooled you, bro. Just use sandpaper. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> but I do like this. Uh, that looks like you could put a little LED in there or light up and look awesome. This is such a nice little bike. I'm glad that I got it, okay? So in case you were wondering, yeah, the answer's yeah. I'm glad I got it. Jeez, leave me alone. So it has a little kickstand as well. And if so, when you're actually in play mode and you're going and you can actually kick that up and instead of it getting in the way. So again, you want to look cool for your friends. But it's got a little bit of turn action. The details are nice. I like the buttons. I like all of this. It's so nice. And then uh, like we knew earlier, you can remove that panel, have this one on the back. And there you go. So now it doesn't look weird. You just have a normal seat. But I mean, of course you want a little Goku back there, right? You got him. Why wouldn't you use him? 
Uh, look at this thing. So it's uh, it looks fine. It's not clear. It's not uh, cloudy or anything. It's not a perfect clear plastic, but it's it's probably just as good as the original. I think, right? Uh, that's probably the same number because why wouldn't they? Why would they change that? But there you go. It looks sweet, man. I want a bike like that. A real one. I'd ride it. I'd ride a bike. I'd I'd be a motorcycle boy. <laughs> so let's figure out the stand. There's a little hole here, but I don't think anything goes in there. All right, so the way I'm understanding this is that you have like three layout options. It's kind of weird. So if you just want like a basic stand and you want it to just sit there and not and, and it to look like it's, you know, on the kickstand without falling over, you just get this basic one. It just goes right in the center. And then if you want a little bit of lift on it or an angle on it, then you use this guy. I don't know which way is front and which way is back. And it seems best that this one is like if you want to add an angle, like a tilt, like that, which is cool, I guess. And that one, if you wanted to do like a wheelie or obviously you could flip it around and have it doing like a nosedive. Okay, I guess we did it. <laughs> Whatever, you get some cool options to pop this thing on a stand and have it kind of in action versus just being sitting there, which is great. I love when things have a little bit more action instead of just being a little vanilla. We ain't got time to be vanilla, okay? All right, so we did the old swap arena on the bottom half of Bulma here so that we can get her on the bike, but you also gotta swap out those hands to give her some, uh, you know, handlebar hands. Duh. I, it's probably totally necessary, right? Because it's flat here on the backside. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's totally necessary for this bike. So even if you have the original one, you're gonna you're gonna have to swap out. If you are a fan of this show, you like what's going on, obviously subscribe. That's that's free. But if you want to support the show, there's tons of stuff. I got shirts. I've got art prints that I've done, and I can ship them to you. Or and if, unless you buy a shirt, then they that someone else will ship it. <laughs> But thank you so much for supporting me however you do. Well, all right, bye. I guess I probably should have talked about like articulation stuff. It still feels pretty good, but I think this is like where you're getting into the cheaper parts of the figure because there there's definitely some noticeable differences like in the joints. Like look at look at how that thing is like sp spreading <laughs> about to pop apart. Um, and I'm guessing that the original bike probably comes with the skirt and the extra hands to go for the authentic one. That was hard to say my words come out. <laughs> but yeah, so this isn't necessarily a pose and have a good time figure. The like, <laughs> what does that mean? This isn't um, a, a, a highly art comfort. Uh, oh. The Third party one doesn't have the free flowing articulation that you get with SH Figure Arts in general. That is a brand that I really highly respect and love for their articulation, at least with my experience so far. They've been fantastic. All right, there we go. So yeah, if you want to recreate this image from the box, um, you can do it and feel comfortable about it because uh, <laughs> It's not the um, message that we've seen on the back of the box, okay? And it's not as uh, naughty <laughs> as Dragon Ball historically was. Oh my goodness. Uh, so this is, uh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's safe, okay? And you can get the feet where they would be shifting gears or pressing the brake. And uh, this is great. I love it. The, you also could technically use this other hand. You could probably have... I'm gonna assume you can get that one on there. So if you want a finger to kind of look like it's reaching for the brake or the clutch, um, you could do that. But all this stuff is, uh, it, it, it's really, it's really exceptional, honestly, for a third party to come into the game. And like I said, the bike alone, fantastic. It's pricey, yes. So if you're used to lower priced stuff, uh, like I generally am, this is kind of a harder place to get into because SH Figure Arts is expensive, but this is substantially cheaper by, we're gonna say, half price because 200 versus 100, right? I can math. I can math, okay? This is the worst part about the whole thing, though, is how easily this comes off. But of course, once it's on the shelf, you're gonna be fine, uh, okay? So don't even take it yet into the consideration in the comments. Look at, you can even, like, yeah, the arms can work. This is great, I love it. And the little Goku, it's so fun. It's just fun, okay? And sometimes this is why we buy stuff, to have a little fun, all right? 
So what do you think? Do you have the original one? Would you get this one? I don't know. What other questions should I ask you? Or should you ask me? I don't know. Ask away. <laughs> the noticeable differences between the, uh, the real thing and the third party, the real one is obviously better. It's, it's better in every way. The articulation is great. Like these things you can just move around and you feel like it's it's gonna work just fine. You can remove the hands from the pegs and you don't feel like they're gonna break. Those, the arms and everything kind of felt like they were gonna break. So once you really start digging into articulation and posing and stuff, then you notice a huge difference. But right out of the box, uh, that one is, is great. If you don't have a Balma and it's, she's just gonna go on the bike, 95 bucks, do it all day, okay? I. Uh, that's it. But if you already have this one, then yeah, I would say like uh, throw that thing in the garbage and, and put the good one on there. Because <laughs> this one is certainly better. I mean, it's it's crazy. When I did the review of Vegeta and then the other Bulma, this, the, the articulation is, is always just crazy because you can just like, you can do any poses you want and you can find, like this is a great line if you're trying to figure out how to do poses. Here we go with a not Ninja Turtle review, okay? And this is kind of an old, oh, oh, it's in my throat. This is kind of an older one. We got it on take two, folks. After getting my Vegeta figure, which is back here on the shelf, in my, my brain's like, hey, you need to get more of these things because they're fun and they're cool, but they are pretty pricey. Even though that says $40 right there, I, that may have been the original retail price, but some things like this, you gotta get third party now, but really hold their value and often hold their value more than they go up in value. That's what I'm looking to try to say. Words, <laughs> when they come out of your mouth correctly, make you feel smart. And when they don't, you feel like a big dum-dum. Welcome to my world, folks. And this is a tiny, tiny little box compared to some of them like Vegeta. We're gonna have to judge this thing based on retail price, I think. Is that the smart way to do it? I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Her average price is probably around 50 bucks, 50, 55 dollars. So is she gonna be worth the 55? I, I probably, I mean, if you're in this line, you're, you're Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z fan, then I think you're just gonna be like, okay, that's what we pay versus, you know, like a Marvel Legends being like $27 or NECA item being like $34, $37. These are tiny and expensive, but you love them. So let's just not talk about how much we like them or don't like them or how expensive they are, but look at the box. So you get some figure shots, you get stickers all over it. This was previously owned, as you can tell. <laughs> it's a little yellowed. The tape is gone and it's a little sticky. Back of the box, you get English and Japanese across the board and these stickers to help clarify Bandai Spirits doing their things, Tamashii Nation, SH Figuarts, all these like too many brand names connected to one thing to really understand what's going on. And New York City is eventually gonna get a Tamashii Nation store. Well, I thought it was supposed to open August 4th and now it's still just like, they're hiring people in it. Anyway, let's open this thing and see if this is a, a cool little figure. So assuming everything is still here as far as like paperwork and stuff like that, but there's the insert for the backdrop of the box. And behind that was this little instruction booklet. This is kind of a cool thing that happens often with some Japanese brands. Uh, so this one actually gives you a list of all the parts, the set contents, and then it tells you basically how to do it, how you can use all of these bits and pieces, which I really like. I, I think more brands should do that. But look, it even shows you how to attach the strap. This is sweet. And then there's a hand to hold the dragon radar and maybe even the ball. This is really cool. I like this. And then sold separately, they're talking about getting all the, all five, all the, all of them. You get the five star included and you gotta buy other figures to complete the set. But you know, Bulma, if you're familiar with the show, that's kind of her whole thing. It's like, hey, I'm gonna find those dragon balls. <laughs> We're gonna do some wishes. So let's take off this little plastic piece. And thanks to the person that I bought this from on Mercari for actually like packaging it properly and getting everything back in there. Looks like we're not missing a single item. And most importantly, I gotta say this right now with SH Figure Arts, you can easily buy bootlegs or knockoffs. And that's pretty much all over eBay and AliExpress. So there are bootlegs big times. Like every time something comes out from a Dragon Ball or SH Figure Arts figure, you're gonna find the knockoff. And in a future video, I'm gonna show a third party slash bootleg, I guess, versus official Dragon Ball figures. But today, we're gonna just look at this Bulma. 
So we'll take her out of the box, the plastic. We get all these pieces. I shouldn't be even be talking right now. I should just be editing the, the cutaway. Okay, the little ball wants to roll around. So I'm just gonna do this kind of, let me get rid of that. Let me make it make a good space for you. So we got all this stuff. We got all these hands. There's seven hands, one specifically with the peg to hold the radar, which is cool. I like that. There's not a peg for the Dragon Ball. So that one's gonna be a little bit trickier. And yeah, I know it's not a Ninja Turtle thing and this channel is more than Ninja Turtles, but if you like Ninja Turtles, you like the Mutant Mayhem, check this out. Hey, can I kick it? Yes, you can. That's a shirt available, link in the description and also in my link tree. So enjoy that shirt from, from me to you. Okay, bye. But let's look at these details. Let's look at this little gun first. You know, it's fine, it's fantastic as far as sculpting goes, right? There's not a whole lot of paint, it's just a single color, little metallic finish, and this can pop off. So if you want to not have it at all, or if you need to take it off to do whatever the instruction said, I guess, to maybe put it around her arm or something. So that's nice. You got her goggles, which are looking good. I like that metallic blue paint, but this is, uh, you know, Fine, it's gonna be able to put that around her neck. I don't think you can fit that on her head because her head's so big. The dragon radar and it's, yeah, it would be kind of cool to have like a little yellow dot to say that it's in this particular spot. But as you can see on the back of that, the little peg for this hand. So let's just go ahead and put that on right here. So this other, the hand, good paint work. It's basic. I mean, again, this is, I mean, this is the stuff like, this is a freaking cartoon. So you can't really get like, too bothered by the lack of details, I guess, or paint, because it's, it's such a simplified thing, right? But this is, it fits so perfectly in there, the little peg and then the fingers are wrapped around it perfectly. So you get some kind of relaxed hands. One of these is gonna hold a Dragon Ball, I don't know. I don't know which one. This is just like a normal flat relaxed. You got this one, which does look like it could probably hold a Dragon Ball a little bit better, right? And then, uh-oh, there it goes. Oh no. Don't lose it. <laughs> uh oh, don't lose it. <laughs> then you have the other side. So you got a right hand and a left hand that can hold the Dragon Ball. You got this one, which will be the handle holding trigger finger hand. <laughs> Jesus, words, words. And then this one, which is just like a, you know, little Japanese anime girl hand. And you got this one, which is a pointing hand. So it's just kind of like saying, hey, over there's a Dragon Ball, if you look, if you look at the direction I'm pointing, or it's gonna be like a, oh, I'm cute. <laughs> it's stupid, I'm stupid. Look at her face plates. So you got just a nice standard smile, looking straight forward, interesting. I love the, uh, the face plate concept. It's really smart. It saves plastic because you don't have to produce a bunch of different heads. And then you got a nice little winking face and the one that comes on her by default, which is looking off to the left a little bit and mouth is fully open. And details, look at this. This is pretty good. The, the hair actually, it does move, but that's probably just a byproduct of being able to take the face plates off to remove the front of her head like that and put a different face plate on. So that, yeah, it's probably just pegged in there and kind of a byproduct of that whole deal. But as far as the details go, at least from an aged perspective here from buying it from another seller, I, I, I I would imagine this probably just came this way new, but the, the decollete, the neck area, that is all a little bit yellow toned compared to the face and the arm. So that's like a painted plastic. So it's, it's molded in white and then painted to be flesh toned, but then it doesn't, well, to be a white flesh tone, but it doesn't match. Then you got this detail going down the arm and there are knockoffs of this one. And one of the big signs of that is just like the, the detail in like the paint in the mouth and here and the different face plates don't look as good, but this, you can trust me, this is official, baby. You know, also some people are not a fan of these joints, right? I mean, they're, they're great for articulation. The function is great on joints like this. The downside being that they look like that. So you kind of have to get over this like backwards, like knee hump thing, <laughs> but let's continue the details, right? So you got some good sculpting, you got some basic paint work because these are primarily printed in plastic, but this is like, you know, I, I complain about Super 7 being printed in plastic, but this is good. This is a good use of that because they also mattify the skin. And that's another sign on the, the, the knockoffs or the bootlegs. They actually have like a glossy finish 
versus this matte finish. So this is uh, this is good. I'm, I'm a fan of this. The good sculpting around the boots and stuff, it's, it's almost like the sculpting is higher quality than what the show would actually look like, especially for Dragon Ball, because that was, you know, back then the, the animation cells were not nearly as detailed as they are today. This is this is great. I like the little back, the little pack, the little satchel that it's not connected, but it looks like it would be connected down here. So this is like, it's a smart use of design. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of this already. This is what I like about SG sh figure arts their posability is usually really really good and it's easy to do like you can just kind of grab these things and and i did this with the spider-man you can just kind of like you feel safe just moving them around no problem none of the joints are so loose uh but this feels feels good i mean it could could it benefit from a double i don't think it's necessary but a double jointed knee would always would definitely be cool. This is a great figure. So articulation, yeah, let's just kind of go over. You get this ball joint on the head, which goes pretty much anywhere you need it to. The arms have this ball joint as well. That's kind of like their their thing. You get these you get a ball joint design. So you can get whatever kind of motion you want. Look at this, this is insane. It's just so free flowing. No wonder they're, I, no wonder what. I was thinking about people that do um, <laughs> uh, stop motion animation, and I've seen some with, using Dragon Ball characters and it's like no wonder because they're 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 so good. But yeah, you get all look at all this. It's just non-stop articulation. You can do whatever you want. So anyway, that's it. That's not a lot to say about it. So if you are a Dragon Ball fan, is this Bulma worth getting? Yeah, I think so. And then there's like an, an actual bike that they have of hers that you can get. There's actually two versions, but one from earlier in the series, which is something I'm gonna review, the third party of I, I wish I had the money to buy the official SH Figures bike, but then they have this more kind of rugged, awesome looking bike for her, which I'll put on the screen. Yeah, this is like one of the coolest versions. It's, it's kind of got this like Mad Max style to me, uh, which, you know, makes sense for the time, I guess. But anyway, we got more on the way. As you can see, my boy Krillin, we got to do this one, of course. And he comes with a key blast. Look at that, sweet. So that's stay stay tuned for the future of that. But let's get into the posing segment. And thank you so much. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this review, then definitely check out that one because that is probably my favorite SH Figures figure of, of, of the, the, my collection. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.